Welcome good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 24th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. We're looking at the, the last seven day visible images over North America, and you can see those strong atmospheric rivers running south to north. Some crazy jet streams going on, folks. I wanted to note this to you all, that things are changing drastically in our upper level jet streams. And you can see here, Tropical Storm Willa now heading across the Gulf. And then we'll ride the Hurricane Highway through the Atlantic up to the North Pole. But we'll get more into that in a moment. We're also looking at the total precipital water from around the world. Watching rapid intensification of Typhoon U2. You can see those electrical charges in the atmosphere. That thing went from a category two to a category five overnight. Also watching in the Atlantic Ocean for another tropical system developing. Looking around the world, there is still tons of moisture falling. Pacific Disaster Center, we're showing the latest updates for volcanoes, the Sangue in, uh, in Ecuador, the Kono in Indonesia, uh, another one in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador. Krakatoa in Indonesia, all of these volcanoes being updated in the past three hours. So something is shifting big time, and I'm going to get more into that big as well towards the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the whole video today. I've got a lot to run over. You can see all these storms and floods very busy time that we're living in. So here's looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes from around the world. Largest earthquake over the last 24 hours was the 5.7 in Japan. We had some pretty deep earthquakes in the Tonga region today. So watch for some more 5.0 or greater earthquakes. South America ringing off today, Mexico, and El Salvador, 4.5, 4.8 in Colombia. And also this 4.5 in Brandon, Oregon, that was overnight last night. And a 4.9 in Hooper Bay, Alaska. But my next forecasted region South America somewhere. I'm thinking most likely Colombia to Peru region. This is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Looking at a pretty busy time for earthquakes. We had those large earthquakes in Canada, Port Hardy, but it's been somewhat quiet in South America. That's why my forecasted region is again, Colombia to Peru region, South America. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteo Mike. Looking at the trajectory for Super Typhoon U2. It's now category five. And it looks like it's gonna head straight to Shanghai, but then it quickly dips Southwest through this model. So we'll have to really see what happens here because this thing could steer towards the Philippines. Outer bands most likely will hit the Philippines anyway if it doesn't take a center track to it. This is a very large storm. Overlooking Europe, large low pressure system coming from the north, cooling things right down. Snow in higher elevations. 
Turkey receiving a lot of snow and also hailstorms. Looking over at Eastern Canada, watching a nor'easter develop, which is actually post-tropical storm Willa. But you can see Willa here race across the Gulf and then straight up the eastern seaboard. Smashing with those cold temperatures in the north. So here we are watching the Atlantic Ocean as well. This is the area of interest, which most likely will be our next Atlantic hurricane. Possible area of interest just off the coast of Africa as well. But overlooking Canada, pretty dry over the next few days here in Alberta. But things cooling down, getting quite chilly at night. But still, a lot of the systems moving north. And very dry here in Alberta. Still watching this large, low-pressure vortices in the Alaskan Peninsula. <clears throat> it's going to be dropping almost four meters of snow through the Aleutian Islands, higher elevations. And here's a look at Super Typhoon Yutu, who is now a Category 5 and will be for the next few days as it heads northwest. Packing winds of 120 miles an hour, wind gusts of up to 145 miles an hour. Look at the size and shape of that eyewall. Massive. Massive. I'm going to leave you here with a look at our sun, a couple images, and also the solar wind, which is kind of strange. You'll see the map here at the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Much love to you all, and welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome to Morning Dew, staying aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share with your friends and family from across the world. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.